Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another new video today. What we're going to be talking about today is inlaying with your laser cutter. As you can see from this design here, I've got a save the date heart, which I'll be cutting out in wood. And you'll see there's also a little heart that will be cut out there and I'll be inlaying a different material in there. So I'll be inlaying acrylic. So yeah, inlaying, you can do it with, you know, different types of woods together, different types of plastic, plastics and woods, whatever you want, completely up to you. So though, I'll just do a quick video on how I do it in Inkscape. Um, if you've never done it before or never heard of it, at least this will give you an insight in how to do it. So, right, let's get into it. I just found a heart uh, in, in Google. Let me see if I can find it again because I closed the page for some reason. Uh, definitely wasn't that one. Okay, right. So, yeah, just copy and paste a heart from Google. I just Googled heart SVG. And this is what came up. Let's just delete all this a second because we're going to start from fresh. So, I'm just going to convert this. Now, I'm just going to trace it to bitmap. Job done. Nice and easy. Remove the fill. Add a stroke. So this is going to be the basis for the design. Now I'm just going to compress Control and D, which just duplicates this. Now I have two of these. I'm going to resize this and put this in the top corner. In Inkscape, there's a number of different ways you can resize. You can just click and drag. Uh, you can hold Control and do it more uniformly. Uh, I think you can hold Alt. You can't hold Alt. Uh, or you can hold Shift and do it that way. But I like to hold control and shift so it does it from the center and it does it uniformly all the way. So I'm going to pop that there. Now let's add the names. So we're just going to put Jack and Sally. If you know, you know. I'm just going to go with this font. This is uh, my new PC, so I haven't actually got many fonts installed on here yet but this will do so jack sally i'm just duplicating these again control d so they're all exactly the same size so jack and sally the dates what did they do on the other one 10th of september i believe it was 2022 And I'm just going to bring the spacing down. And this is only going to be small. What I like to use as well, instead of trying to align things by eye, because some people can notice them off even by a couple of pixels, it could ruin a sale for you at the end of the day. Uh, I, I think this tool gets overlooked quite a bit in all design programs, but I absolutely love using it because it's just so easy to use and it just does it perfect every time. It's called the Align and Distribute tool. Well, just a line tool, basically. And it, I can align this to the dead center of this heart and at least then we'll know it'd be perfect. So in Inkscape, uh, if you haven't got it there, it's just shift Control a that'll bring it up. And you only want to align this vertically. I don't want to do it horizontally. How I do it, I ha you got a couple of options here. I do it first selected, which means the first item I'm going to select, which is the heart. Uh, whatever I select after, it's just going to be aligned to however I want to align it. So select the heart, hold shift. Uh, I want to align the date, so select that, and it's going to align it vertically. Job done. I think that was out by like a pixel, so not too bad. And now, this is the hardest bit of this design. It's not that hard, it's just Inkscape is an absolute pain when it comes to trying to add text to a path. So, we just want this to say save the date. Again, I just duplicated that, Control D. This is going to be that size, maybe. If you've never tried aligning text to a path in Inkscape, it is, it's, it's a pain in the ass. that's all I can say. If you have tried it before, you've probably found like workarounds to do it, or you've tried it, it didn't work, and you just gave up. So yeah, 
how I do it is select the text, hold shift and select the path you want it to go on. And it's just text put on path. Now, let's put it down there. Now, when I was doing this earlier, it was putting it up here. It was putting it up here. It was putting it here. So, it wasn't working as well as I wanted it to. But, yeah, let's put it down here. It's nice and easy. But we want this inside here. With something like a circle, it's really easy to do. You can just use these tools and it'll move it in for you. But with a heart, you can't really do it because it's a heart and it's not perfectly symmetrical every side best way to do it with this design I just double click the text come all the way to the back I'm just gonna press space press space so I can get it where I want it which is about there um, 25 again if you're gonna uh, copy the design make something similar just take your time with it till you can get everything how you like it once you're happy with it select uh, select the text I know you're just going to want to make this object to path otherwise when you try and move it it's just going to go all over the shop so now we've got it in here as you can see it's not perfect so now you just want to do some some amending just to get it spot on Happy with that. There we go. Uh, we can probably move these about, can't we? I mean, this isn't the design I use. But this is roughly what it looks like. Right. As easy as that, let me just select everything. So, Control-E to select everything. And then we're just going to go Document Properties and obviously Resize to that. You can group it all. Uh, because the height you're gonna do these about well however high you however big you want them I think the one I've made 55 it's either 50 or 55 or 5.5 centimeters I'm talking millimeters there so there we go that's done so that's the main part of the design so when you pop this now into uh, your cutting software I'll be using k40 whisperer Obviously, you run the engrave first, so it'll do all the black. And then you do the cut, so it'll cut the small heart out. Then, it'll, Well, however your machine does. But mine cuts the small heart, then the big heart. And it's as easy as that. That is done. Now, once you've done all that, let's ungroup everything a moment. Everything's the right size. Everything's perfect. So now we can just delete everything apart from the small heart. And now documents, and now we're just going to resize this. And then you just save that then as a separate SVG. Because now this is what you're going to load. So once you've loaded up the other file, you've done all the engraving, all the cutting on that. Then you'll load this file up and then cut this out of your separate material. And it should theoretically just fit inside the hole. You'll see when I cut this, you'll see how it, uh, how it works. It should just fit in there. I think maybe if your machine isn't perfectly aligned, it may not fit in there. I don't I don't know. It should it should just work though. If you find that the heart is too big or too small, come back into the design software and I wouldn't bother stretching it by that, because you want to do it in small increments. I found mine to work, it just worked, it fitted in there absolutely perfect, because it, it was the exact same size and they cut on my normal machines all aligned perfectly and it's all fine. But if you find it doesn't work with yours, yeah, maybe come back in. If it's too small, just put it up half a millimeter. Or if it's too big, down half a millimeter. Half a millimeter. That's it. So that's all the design stuff done. It is already saved. So I'm just going to take this down to the machine now. And we'll do a cut. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Right then. So we've got the designs now loaded up on the computer. So for this, I'm just going to be using a piece of 3mm ply. And for the inlay, I'm going to be using this uh, sorry, pinky, pinky, uh, pinky color acrylic. So, right. I do usually darken these beforehand. 
Uh, there's a trick you can use with bicarb soda and water and let it soak for a bit. Um, but yeah, for the purpose of the video, I'm just going to be using a stock piece I've just got in the cupboard. So just got them now out of the cutter. Um, so overall, this probably took what three, four minutes maybe to do. Not even that. I think that was about a minute and a half, two minutes. Well, it takes about five seconds. So nice and easy. So as you'll see, the the fit for the heart is nice and snug. perfect fit this is so to get it in if you find yours is a little bit loose you can tweak the size of the heart so I think if your focus is out a little bit on on your laser it might not give a perfect cut I'm not too sure but as you see mine's a perfect fit just if I can get that out of focus See, I, I can push fit that in. So there we go. That is, I can probably get that in a little bit more. Yep. That is absolutely flush. Not sure how well we can get a focus on that. There we go. So that's absolutely flush now. So that you can do this with you know any types of acrylics, colours of acrylics you want. So with this one I just grabbed. It's the last one I've used to do them. So it's like a pinky colour. Again, different types of wood. I've just used a plywood. Uh, a plywood I had lying in the cupboard. First one I grabbed. So I usually treat them so I can get a darker burn on them. I do usually use some oil on my woods as well. So, uh, but yeah, it's as easy as that, guys. Very simple. You can do it with two different color woods. So you can paint your wood, say, if they wanted red and you didn't any red acrylic. You can paint your wood red. So you can do the cutout to that. And then you can do, obviously, the cutout in the red wood and fit that in. You can do what I did in the previous video where you can mask it and paint it a different color if you wanted to. Uh, but I think with the acrylic, because... Obviously, it's wood, very matte, very boring. 
uh, with that mirror like acrylic in there I just think it looks fantastic and yeah it just just adds that little bit more to your design and like I said you can get a lot of sales from these and uh, make yourself a nice pretty penny as well all right guys so there we go that's it very quick one for today nice and simple hope you give it a go uh, I hope you get some great results from it as well again any questions regarding this put it in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible I'll try and help you the best I can um, like I said if you find your heart's not fitting in there if it's too big or too small just go back to the design and just tweak it a couple of mil uh, till you get it because once you've got it to fit perfect you just save it and that's your design saved then you haven't got to change it every single time um, but yeah once you get the design to fit that well it is just a it's a case you know cutting out an a4 sheet of these hearts and then doing loads of the those the bigger hearts and yeah you just push fit them in as simple as that so yeah uh again hope this video has been any help to any of you again like comment subscribe um i really do appreciate it for everybody who has subscribed so far thank you very much again it's growing it's grown at a good rate so we are getting there so have fun guys and i'll see you in the next video so that